surreal, disturbing, uncanny. These are only a few of the terms to describe Malice at Doll. Made in 2001, back when CG was creepy, cheap, and sympathetic looking. So the creator, Chiaki Konica, who made Serial Experiments Lane and Digimon Tamers, went with that and pushed the synthetic and uncanny factor Sus to its most possible conclusion. Set in a dystopian wasteland, while where most all of humanity has been wiped out, our main character, Malice, is a sex robot, roaming the streets without any purpose, along with all the other robots that are missing all the ones. What makes it quite disturbing is it really does kind of reflect the the nature of humanity. After a disturbing dream involving a robotic girl and a ball, she wakes up to find that she's been infected by human change. Through three episodes alone, she goes through a synthetic process, whether it's corrupting, inspiring, and flashbacks of life, what it's like as a robot. What now could be considered cheap or actually quite inspiring in its own purpose really kind of hit the, missed the mark at the time of its release. But we're looking at a resurgence, especially now with the way that technology has kind of advanced. Seeing stuff of this type of nature, independent, crude at points, but thought-provoking, with a late 90s Aeon Flux aesthetic. Cyberpunk to extreme, corrupted, pushing the synthetic uncanny valley in its animation, its quality, and its tone. Do I think this, uh, this series holds up? Well, three OAVs, it was kind of, it's hard to actually put in words what actually it is, but that is the concept of avant-garde. Strange to be thought-provoking, to stick out, and sometimes not make a bit of sense.